bear clock. Hi everyone, uh, welcome to this brand new section of our channel. Uh, we've spoke about it a couple of times on some of our travel vlogs and we decided to go ahead with it and see how far we get. This is basically a beer review kind of thing which you can clearly see right here. That's the lovely Sarah is showing you. Uh, basically what the plan is is that we're going to get hold of loads of different types of beers or sessions, IPAs, craft beers, maybe even cider there you go. and we're basically going to rate them. We're going to see what we what think of the smell, the taste, the look, even the design of the can, all that kind of stuff and we'll go through the whole lot and then we're going to review it. For someone that's not a massive beer person who's trying to get into it and someone that is very quickly becoming a beer connoisseur. Big fan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this is this is the plan. We're gonna we're gonna review some beer and hopefully uh, it will give you inspiration and different trying out some, some different craft names. Before we crack on, uh, don't forget to obviously like and subscribe. And uh, if you've got any suggestions for different types of beer that we haven't tried or anything or we have yet to try, put them down in the comments. Let us know, and we'll try our best to try and dig them up from somewhere yes. and, and review them as well. We've got a rating system, so we've got if it's good to beer not good not to be here. and if it is god tier as in absolute chef's kiss perfection it is going into our little vault of craft beer wanker so let's get to review it monumental moment we are going to try our first beer of this little section of our Channel. It is a momentous occasion. So we've got here, it's a little fruity beer by Tiny Rebel. Now these are available in like supermarkets, so we thought we'd try one that's quite readily available for people. And it is Pump Up The Jam. Pump Up The Jam, Pump It Up. So it's a Jam Donuts Pale Ale. It is 5%. I always get excited that it's actually going to taste like a jam donut. I, I don't, yes, thing, but the problem is with the IPAs and stuff like that is that it, just because it says it is, doesn't mean it will be. I remember you yeah. once trying something that said it was, was it chocolate birthday cake or something like that? Yeah, I didn't realise it was a stout. It was a stout and it was, <laughs> oh, it was awful. It, it was taste like chocolate. so bad. Their tagline on it is, we have one rule, never just make vanilla ice cream. So, so that, that's big talk, because that means that it should technically taste like jam. Let's crack it open then, lads. And it's on. Oh, it's a lovely sound. That is very fruity. It actually does smell like a, a jam donut. I can't smell any alcohol. Really? And no beer at the moment. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Ooh. That smells good. There's no, like, um, IPA smell. It is pure, like... Fruity. That is fruity. But what colour have we got going on here? Oh, okay. No, it's not. I, I thought maybe it might be a bit dank. But no, I th I had a. I thought it would be red for some reason. Obviously, these are massive pint glasses, so they're not going to fill to the top. So off the bat, you can see it's it's a little bit murky. It's not really dank. I mean, dank is what we call. Well, you, you can't see through. You it. can't see through it. It's like pond water. Yeah. That smell has really come through now. Is it opened up a bit? Yes. Mm. Oh god, yeah, it's so nice. I think we better get to, to taste testing, aren't we? Cheers all the best, guys. Cheers all the way. Same. Wow. <laughs> could go straight in again. Off the bat, it doesn't taste like an IPA. Oh, well that um, might be good for me then. Which is going to be quite good for Adam. The reason he is not a connoisseur of an IPA or doesn't really specifically like them it's because it's very citrusy. Citrusy in the foam, it just hits the back of my throat and I just go Ugh. It's very similar to a, a, a fruit beer or a cider. I think I'm going to like this. I have... Uh, uh, you, you, you're selling it to me. This is not a prediction, this is a spoiler. I think this is going to be quite easy for you. Divosia. You know what? That's lovely. Oh, it's lovely, 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 lovely. Oh, that is really nice. Like, yeah, like it tastes like beer, mm -hmm. but it has those nice little fruity notes that just kind of circle itself around you. Mm -hmm. It goes down easy. There's no foam. There's no citrusy aftertaste. That is has a very similar kind of palate that the Jubal like peach does. Yeah, it's clearly okay, yeah. like a fruity beer, and it just 
it ticks all the boxes of that. It's beer, it's fruity, and it smells great. Okay, you can taste like the jam, but I can it kind of tastes like a dough, like a yeast. Yeah, so it's not like just jam. Yeah. It is a jam, because there is a difference between jam and a jam donut most of the yeah. time. And you can actually taste the difference. There is a difference there. See, when you can get this in the supermarket. You can also get it in some pubs. You can, I've yeah, yesterday, it's been there. when we were in Leamington, yeah. that was in there. It was in there. And, uh, I looked at it and went, no, we can't, because we were reviewing <laughs> it. <laughs> so, uh, ratings? Ratings. So, seeming this is our first one, we've we've eased in, we've gone for quite an easy one. For the fact that you can pick this up very um, easily in supermarkets, and it, I think it's quite readily available in pubs as well, I'm going to give it a tabia, because to be, yeah. that is... I think this might be a, a bit of a staple in the summer. I think it might be. I honestly think it might be. So yeah, I mean, my review is exactly the same. Mine's going into beer as well. I think that's that's easily something I would look at and go, the next time I see that in a pub, I'm picking it up and I'm going for it. Which is good because it's getting I wouldn't you have into before. the beer game. I wouldn't have done it before. So that is a good start. So the second and final one that we're going to try this time, because uh, we we're only going to do two beers of a video, because I think otherwise we're going to get into dangerous getting too drunk territory. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so this one is a Vault City. Um, you can get Vault City in certain pubs, uh, but it's, it's still reasonably rare at the moment. Mm -hmm. It's getting there, I think. But you can pick a few Vault Cities in supermarkets. You can pick it up in nice little craft beer places and that. So it is becoming more and more readily available. So this is a Vault City Cranberry Double Currant Vanilla. It's a modern sour beer. Apris Brewing Company made it the way to Edinburgh to help our latest collaboration brought to life. Cranberry Double Currant Vanilla takes our mixed fermentation of golden sour and pairs it with a refreshing fusion of red currants, black currants, and tart cranberry, rounded off with a smooth, lingering taste of sweet vanilla. Ho, ho, ho! You do have to shake to wake this. Okay, so I'm gonna shake it nice and gently. We're going mad. Nice That's amazing. a bit weird. Nice and easy. Just, just massage it. Just cradle it. Just nice. No, I think you can. All right, so let's crack it open. Ooh. Whoa, oh, oh. Who said shake? It says shake to wake. <laughs> Not as strong as the other one. No. No. Oh no, there isn't. Like there. it's there, but it's not. It's not overpowering. Not well, the other one wasn't really overpowering, but. Yeah, there's not fruit in us there. I, I can smell fruit in this. It's just really dull. Mm. Like, it's not It might strong. open up once you pour. Yeah. Oh, Adam, look at that Look head. at that head. That's... That's so... <laughs> you can tell I'm a cider man. We didn't realise until we got to the counter that this particular beer was £8.50 a can. Oh. Oh, it still hurts when you say it. So I'm very nervous. It better be good. <laughs> I have noticed one thing when I was searching more Vault City stuff online. Mm. All the stuff that they're showing up, this never pops up. Do you think it's a rare one? Maybe though? it's because it's rare. Okay. Like there's even like box sets of Vault City you can get online where you can get basically like 12 different beers in a pack. Mm. And it's not on there. Okay. And I've looked on their site and I can't find it. Oh, it so might be a maybe discontinued one it then, could which... be either discontinued or a rarity. I, so if we can find it online, obviously we'll link it below. Right, so let's get to trying. Uh, see if it smells any different now it's open. Yeah, a bit fruitier. Mm -hmm. A bit fruitier. I can smell a slightness of like beer in there. Oh, I can smell the sour. <laughs> it is dankish. It's quite dank. Yeah. It's not completely gone, but pretty dank. So, uh, one of the Is that good or not? Sour. That is nice. Is it? Oh, it's sour. Yeah. It's definitely got sour. There's like sour Skittles, but more. Oh my God, but you, there, there's, it's like the sour and the fruit is the main player here. Mm. And the beer side of things takes the back seat. Okay. You can just about taste it like notes of like classic beer, but it's mainly just fruit and sour. And oh my God, it's so good. Can you taste the vanilla in it? Mm -hmm. Oh, get me on that. Get on that. Get get on it. Get, get on, on it. it. Get it's big. <laughs> yes, yeah, so it's very it's very sour. I can smell. It's the, opened up already. Yeah, the sour the sour berries in there. Cheers, all the best. I can't really tell what you think. 
Oh, it's sour. Yeah. See, it's nice. I can't taste any vanilla in there. Can you not? I can no. taste it slightly. But I think the problem is, like I say, with it being sour, that is always going to take over. See, to me, that is, um, it's cranberry. It's just um, quite a lot of cranberry in there. I can't taste any of the currants. It's like a sour cranberry um, juice. Mm. This is 8.5%, guys. This is a bad boy. Bad boy. Um, it's bad in that respect as well as price. Yeah, 8.5%, £8.50, so you're paying for the percentage. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not disappointed, I just thought it would be a bit more of a like a dessert. As you say, it's cranberry double currant vanilla. I thought I would get some more of the smoothness of the vanilla in there. See with me, I'm getting the vanilla, but it's after it's all gone. It's like a slight aftertaste that sits at the back. But it is very dull because the sour really kind of hits your taste buds quite a lot. Mm. I, I'd buy it again, but not for eight pound fifty. You wouldn't <laughs> spend it. Oh yeah. No. If it found it for like three and a half quid, I'd, I'd pick it up. Yeah, I wouldn't spend eight pound fifty on it. Ratings. Rate. Right for me, like I'm like a big fan of like sweets and stuff. Anyway, you're more into like cakes and chocolate and everything. So yes. you're more into like if you had IPAs that had like chocolate and shit, I think you'd be all over that. But me, I might not. Mm. But I love sweets, and this is essentially like sweets in a can. But I, I agree your point is like you can't necessarily differentiate all the different fruits but I think there are in there. I think it's fruity and I love fruity things. I think it's really tasty, um, it's a bit too expensive but the flavour is nice enough that it makes me want to get it again so I'm going to put it into beer. I, th I think it's, it's a good beer and I'd happily pick it up again if it's a decent price. So for me, even though I will easily drink that, price of it and the fact that it's selling as a, a cranberry double currant vanilla all i am tasting is just sour cranberry would i go out of my way to buy it again i don't think i would no i don't think i would um i've tried a couple of vault cities now as i say the one down in Batsy, um, and i also managed to pick up and i'm seeing it in supermarkets now in tesco a um like a, a triple mango one which is very sour but Oh, it's like summer in a bowl. <laughs> if I saw this next to any of the other ones I've had, no. What are we saying? I'm saying not to beer. Not to beer. £8.50, not to beer. It's nice. It's not like I'm like, oh my God, that's disgusting. I'm not going to drink it. But when you put all the parameters together and all the bits together. It's a bit boring. Really? But again, I think it's down. This is the point, isn't it? It's. I think this is tailor-made for me because of how much I like sweets over chocolate. As a woman, you drink cranberry juice to get rid of uh, water infections. It reminds me of that. <laughs> I think that's what it is. Oh, sorry, to bring, sorry to bring oh. it down. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Um, why, would yeah. you, why would you wreck it? So that's it. That's our first ever beer review video done. Yeah. Um, I really enjoyed it. It was good fun. It was, yeah. It's, um, it's just getting out there isn't there i mean i think the thing with craft beers and things like this i think it's getting into the the uh, more popular with mm -hmm. you know we had the, the era of gin where it became really popular again we don't really like gin unless it's in a cocktail but craft beers and sessions and sours are really really quite popular thing. yeah um so it's good to get exploring and yeah. trying different things and i think it's, it's worked quite well i mean obviously this is already working quite well considering i'm not the beer person you are the beer person yeah and i like both of those yes that's <laughs> you know good I mean? that's so, added to the repertoire of what you would like to drink yeah absolutely make sure you like and subscribe make sure you put any comments in below if you've got any suggestions of different beers or what you thought of these if you've drank them yourself mm -hmm. we want to know um, and yeah, we're going to try our best to push out as, as many of these videos as we possibly can, when we can, uh, pick up some things in our travels and our travel vlogs and that, so... Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for watching. Keep an eye out for our next post for to beer or not to beer. That is the question. <laughs> Until next time, guys, cheers all the best.